So what we will not do on this channel is have a radiant and blazing face with a crusty body. The same way you want to take care of your face is the same way you want to take care of your body because your skin is not just on your face. You want even skin, you want radiant skin from head to toe. So what do we do? We extend some of these practices to our body. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top exfoliating lotions to get you to smoothen your skin and have better radiant and even skin. Coco, and my mission here is to get you to glow, to get you to look radiant, to basically make you fall in love with your skin again. And to that end, I make product recommendation videos like this one. I also share amazing skincare tips and tricks on this channel, and I share skincare advice and everything basically around beauty and lifestyle. So if that is something that you would be interested in, then definitely make sure that you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on for whenever I post a video. And hey, my returning subscribers, how are you guys doing today? Thank you for all the new people that have joined us in this family. I'm so grateful. I don't get to talk about you guys a lot, but I see you guys. The love is overwhelming. I see the numbers coming in. We are growing strong, and I love that for us. Thank you so much for trusting me with your skin, taking my advice, and all of that. I promise I'll not let you guys down, and I'll keep on filming amazing content for you. I always talk to you guys about exfoliation, exfoliating, exfoliation. Anyways, in today's video, I'll be recommending my top, in my opinion, exfoliating lotions for your body. And before we get into the video, let me quickly share the benefits of exfoliating your body. First of all, exfoliation helps with unclogging pores. So if you have clogged pores with all the sebum and debris from skincare products or other um, environmental hazards, exfoliation is key to getting your pores unclogged. Exfoliation also helps in preventing acne breakouts and blemishes on the skin. Exfoliating your skin would also help in getting other skincare products to penetrate your skin better. It would help in evening out your skin tone dealing with hyperpigmentation. It boosts circulation and of course will increase cell turnover on our skin. I've shared with you guys before that as we age, our skin slows down in cell turnover. When we were babies, our skin would renew its cells every three to four days. And as we grow, the regeneration process sort of decreases. So as adults, what we would have to do is to boost this process by actually exfoliating our skin. Exfoliation also helps to improve the skin texture. It helps with um, things like ingrown hairs on the skin helps with psoriasis and that would be like the scaly patchy things on the skin um, things like strawberry skin also known as chicken skin exfoliation would help smoothen your skin and give you a radiant and glowy complexion so if you're struggling with any of these things that I've mentioned then exfoliating your skin or including exfoliation on your skin on the body would definitely be a game changer for you. So as we know, there's two types of exfoliants, which is physical exfoliants and chemical exfoliants. So the one I'll be sharing in this video today would be chemical exfoliants as physical exfoliant is the one that you manually do yourself. But in this one, we're talking about exfoliants in products that would help you with the process. So you do not have to do it yourself with physical scrubs like sugar scrub, apricot scrubs, and all of those type of scrubs. So I have my note here on my phone in case you guys see me looking down because I had to take notes so I don't forget anything. Thing I'm trying to share with you guys in this video today. My first exfoliating lotion, you guys know I've used it, I've shown it to you guys a lot of times, is the 11 Village Factory um, AHA 12% exfoliating lotion. Now that lotion is one that I love, I use, I have used about two bottles of that lotion. It works so well in exfoliating your skin. The chemical exfoliant that is in that lotion of course is glycolic acid and it has 12% of glycolic acid which is a very generous percentage. I think this product will be a Korean product so I don't know how accessible it is but I'll find links and put in the description bar so you can find a way to purchase for yourself if you like it. That's the one that I am currently using. I love it for my skin. I love the results that I am getting with that lotion. So yeah, the 11 Village Factory um, AHA 12% is my top exfoliating lotion on this list. Now for my second recommendation for exfoliating lotion would be the Amlactin lotion. Now for the Amlactin lotion we have two. There's one in a green bottle and there's one in a blue bottle. 
episode i'm going to put them on the screen so you specifically see the one that i am talking about so the chemical exfoliant in this lotion is lactic acid the one in the blue bottle contains 15 percent lactic acid and the one in the green bottle contains 12 percent lactic acid now the one in the blue bottle is targeted at people with drier and more flaky skin while the one in the green bottle is targeted to people with more um, normal to dry skin and any type of skin i feel like all skin types can get away with using any of these lotions but obviously brands like to make products that can target a certain skin type so that people will not be left out as we know drier skin is more technical and tricky to deal with so brands would most likely look out for this skin type and include products that have more moisture now you might ask me which one you should go for in my opinion any of them works one just has 12 percent which is a little bit lower than the other one and the other one has 15 percent in my opinion which one would i go for of course the one with 15 percent because i do want all the exfoliating that my skin can get now lactic acid is not a very tough acid on the skin like glycolic acid would be used in this percentage is a good bet for your skin it will not irritate your skin if you do not already have bruises on your skin but yeah as we progress in this video i'm going to share how you should use this lotion on your skin when to use the amount to use please watch to the end because this information are as important as the recommendations that i am making now the 10 exfoliating lotion that i want to recommend in this video is the eucerin i think intensive repair lotion now for the eucerin lotion the chemical exfoliant present in that lotion is an aha what i did not find is what aha is in the lotion and what percentage is in the lotion but from my research i would think that it is not a very high percentage of um, AHA in the lotion but it works well in exfoliating your skin I've used that lotion once in my experience it was good for me I loved the result that I got on my skin and of course that is why it has made the list for the top recommendations for exfoliating lotions now my next recommendation is the Aveeno tone and texture daily renewing lotion it exfoliates and hydrates the skin now I haven't used this one before but from my research this one is a very mild um, exfoliating lotion now the exfoliant present in that lotion is a pha which is peta hydroxy acid also a class of chemical exfoliant now this lotion is formulated with four percent of natural pha and pro vitamin b3 now this would be a very mild exfoliating lotion now this lotion would be great for people that have sensitive skin on the body you do not want to just play with a very high percentage of chemical exfoliant so you can start off with this um avino tone and texture daily renewing lotion to study how your skin actually um, would accept a chemical exfoliant and then you can build your skin up to using higher percentage of exfoliant now three more recommendations and we are done with the recommendation today my next recommendation would be the CeraVe salicylic acid lotion now that one contains both salicylic acid and lactic acid the information i did not also get on that is how much of this chemical exfoliant is in the product these are the two chemical exfoliants that are in that product and we know that salicylic acid is great in breaking down sebum on the skin and now also lactic acid which is a great chemical exfoliant as well so now this of course is paired in appropriate amounts and percentage to help work on your skin i would also assume that this one is a mild exfoliant lotion now CeraVe as a brand is very gentle in their approach with skincare products now their method is basically slow and steady so when you're using a product from CeraVe you can expect that you might not get drastic results on your skin but the progression on your skin will be slow and steady and you will definitely get the results that you're aiming to get you just need to be consistent with your routine and also very patient with your routine but you definitely get good and amazing results with a lotion like this one so if you're struggling with body acne or or CBS pods and all of those you might want to pair this CeraVe salicylic acid um, lotion with the CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser for a shower gel yes it might cost you a little bit more to use it that way but that is a good way that you can get it to treat your skin like I said skincare is not for your face alone you want to extend the grace to your body so that you can have even skin and generally a skin that you'd be pleased with now the next lotion on my list for top exfoliating lotion is the Alpha Skincare Renewal Body Lotion. Now this one is similar to the first one I mentioned which was the Level Village Factory one. The chemical exfoliant present in this one is glycolic acid and also 12% of glycolic acid. We know that glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant in the AHA class of exfoliant. Now glycolic acid is great for hyperpigmentation issues so if you're trying to even out your skin this is a great body lotion for you to use. Now this 
one will be my direct substitute or alternative for the 11 village factory one so if you cannot get your hands on that one then this one is your next best bet so yeah the alpha skincare renewal body lotion is my next top exfoliating lotion on this list now my last but of course not the least because this recommendation was in no particular order is the glycone exfoliating body lotion now this one contains glycolic acid but this one is on the high side now for this particular one this lotion is said to contain up to 17.5 percent of free acid value glycolic acid um, i'm going to explain what that means shortly now this lotion is also said to help with keratosis um, pilaris smoothing rough and bumpy skin also helps with chicken skin what we also call strawberry skin and of course would also help help with psoriasis as well. Now what the free acid value means is the amount of unbuffered glycolic acid available for the skin to quickly exfoliate and retexturize your skin. So now a lotion like this of course like I earlier mentioned would help with the texture of your skin and also smoothing out rough and bumpy skin. So now how and when to use your exfoliating lotions. My advice would always be use your exfoliating lotions at night. Now when we are sleeping our skin gets the time to regenerate ourselves so if you boost this process with an exfoliating lotion it will then give your skin more boost to regenerate your skin a lot faster and also at night we are away from the harshness of the sun and other environmental hazardous substances that can get on our skin like free radicals so yeah using your exfoliating lotions at night would give it time to actually work on your skin also you have to use your exfoliating lotions on clean skin so after you've thoroughly cleansed your skin then you can then put your exfoliating lotion on your skin and the amount that should go on your skin should be a generous enough amount I would always say for an adult body a minimum of eight pumps for your entire body now for how many times in a day you should use your lotion like I said once at night is okay and how many times in a week that you should use an exfoliating lotion using your exfoliating lotion twice a week is okay that's two nights in a week but of course using it up to three nights will not hurt you at all to stretch it to three nights a week but what you don't want to do is use it every day because you do not want to over exfoliate. Over exfoliating your skin can pose another threat that you do not want to get into. So stay moderate when you're exfoliating but make sure that you get the job done. Another thing I wanted to speak on when exfoliating your skin is aftercare. You want to make sure that during the day that you are constantly protected with sunscreen when you're using your normal moisturizing lotion or any lotion that you use during the day because now your skin is exfoliated so your skin can be more sensitive or more prone to the damages of the sun. So you want to make sure that you're protected with a good sunscreen there's lots of sunscreens out there in the market i've recommended some i have some new ones that i would love to share with you guys as well so if you love to see my updated video on sunscreens for your face and body then definitely thumbs up this video i'll get to filming that for you of course now after you've exfoliated your skin like this chemically would you need more exfoliation with physical exfoliants on your skin you might ask well, you do not need more exfoliation as that would be over exfoliating your skin. So either you're sticking to physical exfoliants for exfoliating your skin two to three times a week or a chemical exfoliant like this one in this lotion for exfoliating your skin two to three times a week. Now, as much as I like physical exfoliants, I've become very lazy, so I just let lotions do the job for me. But if I do really want to exfoliate my skin, maybe I am dying to physically exfoliate my skin, then I try in a physical exfoliating process once a week while I do the other one with my chemical exfoliant twice a week. And one thing I do want to warn you guys about when it comes to all of these exfoliating lotion is that the smell is usually not so pleasant. Now when brands are creating lotions like this, what they care about is the ingredient that goes into it that actually does the job. They don't care about fragrance, which of course for us too is not supposed to be our area of concentration because what we need is the ingredient in the lotion and not the fragrance of the lotion. So yeah, I want to warn you guys that it might not be a very pleasant smell, but of course that's why we're using it at night as well. If you want to kill the weird smell that these products may come with, or you just want to include some nice fragrance on your skin you can then just spray with like a nice soft body mist and off you go to bed so yeah problem solved that's another hack there you don't have to worry about the smell of the lotion if it is not pleasant for you so yeah that's it for this video i do hope i've covered everything i was hoping to cover if there's any question that you might have you can drop it in the comment section and if you have any comments for us or you've tried any of these lotions or one of these is your lotions then definitely let us know how you feel about the product in the comment section i also love to read reviews from you guys as well i love to know what 
what you guys are saying with any of the products that I have recommended. And if you also just want me to know that you were here on my channel today, of course, you can drop some love hearts in the comment section for me. It always makes me happy when I see the love hearts because it's always like, oh, they actually watch to the end and then they drop some love hearts for me. Like, ah, the love. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and family. And as usual, I wish you a beautiful, perfect, and luscious skin. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.